Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this Philenium Malkin uploaded by Asdal. So first things first, they're going to go down to the developer notes and they say quite a few things. They say it's going to be a print in place with no supports, that we will need a raft and that we might have to increase the raft radius if the model is falling over. And additionally, if you want, you can rotate the model 90 degrees. So once again, yes to rafts, no supports and uh, increase the raft radius if needed. So we'll keep all that into consideration. So the next step now is going to be to download all the files using this blue button. And once you do, you're going to have a folder similar to this with quite a few STLs. I don't know too much about Star Wars, but it looks like all these models are the same thing, just with different, uh, I guess, uh, details such like this one says it's fixed bottom. So the regular Falcon. This one says it has uh, the landing gear deployed. You can just hover your mouse over and read the little preview. So this one has landing gear deployed. This one's just the original satellite dish. You can always double click on them to open the model on the native Windows STL viewer. If you want to take a look. So choose whichever you want. Like I said, they're all just different uh, models. So if you want landing gear, or if you want one with a satellite dish, print whatever you want. So uh, for me, I'm going to print this one says it has landing gear so you're gonna click and hold on the STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to load in once the model you selected has finished loading in we can now start messing with the settings uh, first of all the model is pretty big and stands at roughly 18 centimeters tall so if you want if that's fine with you then you can proceed to the next step if not and if you're like me and want something a little bit smaller you can click on the model and then go down here to the second button where it says scale and we're going to make sure that uniform scaling is on and then you can set the new scale to whatever you want so i want this half the size so i'm going to scale this to 50 percent and press enter on my keyboard and that will make the model half the size next we're going to go over here to profile and select a layer height if you're printing at the regular size 0.2 millimeters is more than fine but if you're at 50 percent or lower I highly recommend you print at 0.16 or 0.12 millimeters. On the showcase video, I printed mine at 0.2 millimeters at this scale, and you can see that there's not a lot of crispness or sharp edges, which I wish there was. So if you're at 50%, stick with a 0.16 millimeter or finer. If this pops up, click on the discard button. That'll just erase all previous profile modifications. We're not going to mess with shell, we're not going to mess with infill. And with supports, we will not need any supports. All the models do not need any supports, even though it looks like they might. They actually don't because of the angles here. You see they're at 45 and uh, everything should be more than sufficient. So no need to add any supports. For the build plate adhesion, you definitely are going to need some build plate adhesion. Now I recommend a raft. So in order to do that, you're gonna click here and we're gonna click on the build plate adhesion type. And we're gonna select the raft. So that's basically gonna make a an entire thin plate at the bottom of the model and uh, you'll see that on the preview section now the developer also said you might have to make that raft a little larger in order to do that we have to enable the raft extra margin setting which is down here if you don't have it you're gonna put your mouse over the build pit adhesion tab click on the gear icon and where it says filter we're gonna search up raft extra margin we're gonna make sure that's checked. And once that is checked, you can hit close and you should see the setting down here. Now right now it's set to standard 15 millimeters, but you may want to increase it like the developer said, you can increase it to whatever value you want. If you want to use double, triple, all up to you. I recommend using maybe double. So it says 15 millimeters, we're just gonna double that to 30. You can double it to whatever size or make it as big as you want. Honestly, uh, you shouldn't have to make it too big, but just to be on the safe side, print it with uh, double the raft extra margin. And once you're set with that, there's nothing else you have to mess with. So all we do now is click the blue slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. Once the software has finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 8 hours and 23 minutes, but that will depend on the size of your model and the print settings you selected. And you're also going to be given an estimated filament usage of 27 grams. 
Now we always preview the print and take a look around to see if anything weird or funky is going on. And when taking a look at the model, you're going to notice this blue plate at the bottom that you probably have never seen. And that's the raft, which is going to help this model stay upright and not fall over or tilt. So uh, once again, this is a very thin plate that's going to be printed underneath the model. And we can definitely remove that, so don't be scared that it's going to be there forever. That can definitely be removed during post-processing. So now all we have to do is save the file and send it over to your printer. Here's the model straight off the print bed. There's not really any processing that I had to do on it, but you may have a little bit of stringing that you might have to clean up with a little bit of sanding. The only other thing to do is to remove the raft if you want. The raft can actually be used as a base to have the model stand upright. So uh, remove it if you want and don't if you don't. This is the model once processing has been completed. Everything looks pretty good and everything came out with very high amounts of details, but I do wish that I printed mine at a 0.16mm layer height rather than a 0.2mm like I suggested in the previous clips. Although I don't know too much about Star Wars, I can tell you for a fact that this model is very detailed and has a lot of little minor things that you can miss within the first glance, so take a look at yours and observe and enjoy all the little small details that the developer did and included when making this model. This definitely ended up being a high quality hassle free print and I do recommend it for anybody who wants one.